New at 6, a devastated family has a warning to others tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbetten. And I'm Phil Aldridge. An Irma home burned down yesterday, and the likely cause is a space heater. News 9's Tom Lally joins us to tell us how you can help the family and make sure this doesn't happen to you. Hey, Tom. Hey, the fire started around 8 a.m., and in about five hours, Bob White says his life was gone. Bob White built his home in 1982. From the ground up. And now. It's gone. A fire Monday left him with this. Everything we worked for in our life for 40 years we lived here, it's gone. He says his wife turned on this heater, went to check on the farm, and a fire broke out. I heard a thump. Without shoes or a coat on, he ran outside to see. A smoke coming over the roof. He ran back to get his cat named Kitten, but the door was stuck. I couldn't get back in the house. A stranger saw it all called for help and ran up. And that woman come in from here, she called 911, she come in and helped me crawl over the deck. That's when firefighters like Dave Heller arrived. What stood out about this one to you? Just how fast it burned. As for the cause, Bob says he hasn't had an issue with his salamander heater in the past 10 years. Still, the Russell Fire Department says it likely lit the flame. Please, people, be careful out there. He says not to leave the room when a heater is on. Oh, everything's gone. But you can't turn back time. We're barely scraping by the way it is, but now it's going to be tough. So Bob's niece set up a GoFundMe page. Everything we ever saved, all my guns, everything is gone. Tools, clothes, a car. I just put brand new tires on it. And the home that housed it all, gone. If you're looking to pitch in, we've got a link to that GoFundMe page on our website. Phil, Melissa, back to you.